Hello, this is Tom, and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to calculate the x and y coordinates of the holes in a bolt circle. For this example, we're using a 6 inch bolt circle with 12 holes equally spaced on that bolt circle. Now we know that a circle is 360 degrees, so if we divide it by 12 equal spaces, we come up with 30 degrees between each hole. Now the first hole right here at 3 o'clock is at 0 degrees and we're going to work our way in a counterclockwise direction as we calculate the x and y coordinate of each bolt hole. And for this example the x and y zero is right in the middle of the bolt circle and also if I turn on the axis you can see that four of these holes are laying right on the x and the y axis at 0 degrees at 90 degrees, at 180 degrees, and at 270 degrees. So it is fairly easy to determine the x and y values of those four holes. So let's see what they are. Alright, so the distance from the x0, y0 to the center of the hole at 0 degrees is 3 inches. So the x and y value of that hole is x3, y0. And obviously right here at 90 degrees the x is at 0 and y is at 3 inches. Then x minus 3 for the hole at 180 degrees and y is at 0. And of course the hole at 270 is at x0, y minus 3. So what's left to calculate are these holes inside of these quadrants. So we're going to start by calculating the x and y coordinate of this first hole at 30 degrees. So I'm going to show you the triangle that we're going to be using to calculate the x and the y distance from this x0, y0 origin. Alright, so we know that the angle is 30 degrees and we also know that the hypotenuse of this triangle, which is the radius value of this circle, is 3 inches. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate the distance in x. So we're going to bring up the calculator and we plug in 30 degrees and we take the cosine and we're going to multiply that times the 3 inches. So we come up with 2 inches 598. And so that is the x distance to the center line of this hole. Now we're going to go ahead and put that dimension on the print because we're going to be using that distance to calculate the y dimension. Alright, so we bring up the calculator. Let's clear it, and this time we want to take 30 degrees, then do the tangent of that 30 degrees, and multiply that times the 2 inches 598, and then we come up with 1 inch 4999. So we're going to round that off to an inch and a half. So let's go ahead and show that on the print. So now here you have our x and y coordinate for this hole at 30 degrees. So we're going to do the same thing for the next hole. And again we're going to use a triangle to calculate the x and y dimensions. So you can see right now we have a 60 degree angle. So let's bring up the calculator and again we're going to take 60 degrees. We're going to do cosine times the 3 inch radius equals inch and a half. So that is the x distance from center. So let's put that dimension on the print and that's the dimension we're going to use to calculate the y distance. So we're going to clear and right now we're going to take 60 degrees and we do tangent times the 1 inch 500 equals and there's that same 2 inches 598. So that is the distance in y. So let's go ahead and put that dimension on there and so that is our x and y coordinate for that hole. So the easiest thing to do is to draw yourself a triangle for each hole that you want to calculate and so let me show you what those triangles would look like at each hole. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now if you've done all your calculations, then your x and y locations would look like this. 
Now notice that the x and y values are the same on both sides of the x and y axis. Now these two holes are symmetrical about y and then these two holes are symmetrical about the y axis. And also these two holes are symmetrical about the x axis. So are these and then these two and then these two. So in essence you only have to calculate these two hole locations and then you just have to mirror them about x and y and just get your plus and minuses right and you would have gotten all your x and y coordinates just calculating two of the holes. Now it's not always going to be quite that simple. For instance in this example you see that the first hole location is at 10 degrees and then we have 13 equally spaced holes on this 360 degree so if we divide that 360 by 13 the distance between holes is 27.692 degrees so we can still manually calculate each x and y coordinate for each hole the same way creating a triangle but you can see that's going to get a little bit more time consuming and there's nothing symmetrical in this bold circle so you will have to calculate every single hole location so now in cases like this you would want to use a bold circle calculator and let me show you online where you can find a bold circle calculator that will make a job like this very easy all right so if you go to theoreticalmachinist.com you will find a bolt hole circle calculator that will make calculating the x and y locations very easy so the way it works is you simply enter the bolt circle diameter so let's make that 10 inches then the hole diameter let's make that 0.375 we'll give it 10 holes at a start angle of 0 degrees and we just simply click compute and so it will draw the hole locations and then down below it will actually give you the X and Y locations the way you would use them in a program and then also the hole locations position data so it will also give you the X and Y locations so, but also the angle in relation to the first hole which is at 0 degrees all right so let's do one more we make we'll make it a 24 inch diameter with 0.625 diameter holes and we're going to put uh, 21 holes starting at 15 degrees I'm going to say compute so there's all the holes and we scroll down below and you just can do it any faster than that so a very simple and very powerful tool saving you a lot of time all right, so that covers bolt hole circles. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.